day. Hi, we're live back on Elm Street and that I'll just be here for a second so everybody can uh, get the light on because normally we're not supposed to be flashlights there. So again we will right there, see? Get you guys a little bit closer. That so you can see. Okay, where is she? Oh, she's rushing. And she's supposed to supposed to stay beside me, uh, so I can actually conduct this challenge because she's really going too fast and anything. And, and friend, you have to slow down a bit. And that so because you don't even know your way through this challenge. So anyhow. I guess she's determined for her red bandana, <laughs> but uh, she's got to wait for camera crew to to keep up. Cause and that. So any else? Any you guys can see? Yeah, I kind of turned the light on. Uh, normally the challenge contains no flashlights. But Shut up then. No, I have to because my camera. So. Um, See, I've already gone through this, so I normally I can, because I, I'm running a live stream, a cam stream, and that kind of thing. But the challengers, which is you, are not required a flashlight. That's why I was just going to hide it. Oh, okay. But you don't even know where you're going. You don't know what I've, I've actually planted out here. You don't know who I, who I planted out here to scare you. So again, we'll kind of turn that light off, save light. So again, it is the Dark Haunted Hunter's Cabin Challenge. Oh man, this is good because it's really dark today, guys. Not like last Saturday when it was, uh, um, uh, what was it? I turned my light out. Last Saturday when, it, when we did this challenge, walk straight down and, um, and my brother-in-law was with and all the, all the street lights were working. And uh, so now it's, this is going to be a little bit more spookier because we're going to go straight down now and uh, turn on the tailor. And I hope I have enough batteries. And uh, so, like I said, in the Star Country's Cabin Challenge, friend, you're going to hear stuff that's going to frighten you or, you know, demons are going to speak out to you. You're going to hear, you're going to hear native chants. No, I'm not saying that badly, in, in a bad way, but you are, ghost native chance, because they would be the actual headhunters of Hunter's Cabin, which is Ian and Ivan. But like I said, you don't know who yet may jump out of these woods. It could be the King of Nightmares himself. So again, stay, ooh, right, stay to the side of the road there. And that. And, uh, what kind of car was that one? Top car. Oh, okay. I'm on the so. Um, so, like I said, like we can conduct, like I said, we can walk down this road, but we have to stay on the road. So, uh, I will let you have, I will let you have like a bit of a sit down break when we get, when we get closer around a bit. And, uh, Park and that kind of stuff too. So, and that. So, but uh, yeah. So, like I said, guys, as long as we stay on the public road, we are allowed to walk down this road. We are allowed to. Uh, and then my voice ain't that loud, is it? Okay, good. As long as we keep bikes, we might get people sleeping, and then we'll get down Taylor, and then then we'll uh, we'll cross the Hunter's Cabin Bridge. So that's that. This is the last night. It will complete. Uh, these series, so if our challenger can continue walking down bravely, she will earn her red bandana. So, scan in there. So far, it's like sometimes to go get up at the and that kind of thing. So, as long as we stay on this road, I'm surprised everybody's using the road tonight. Usually, they don't. Make sure Mr. Cougar don't jump out of that woods. And uh, sometimes too, you'll hear footsteps behind us. So again, we will uh, 
I'll make sure when, when we pass it this way too. Um, uh, like I said, this uh, this row here, right? Um, especially this row here, I will have to turn the light on. But it's it's just a challenge it really is. You require not to have a flashlight of any kind. Because uh, it is a dark haunted cabin challenge. I am allowed to conduct this. And uh, there's only two people. Are you okay? Just heard voices. Yeah, I know. But like I said, keep being brave. Like I said, you will hear voices in the night. It is, that's why it's called Hunter's Cabin. And uh, so anyhow. Oh, sorry, wrong one, guys. That would scare anybody. Okay. So like, like I said, we will get to the Wicker Square too, by the way. And uh, man, it's really foggy tonight and dark. It's more spookier walk tonight. Um, I'm glad tonight is the last night for the show, uh, Game Boy, so, uh, like I said, uh, and that, so, um, Yeah, it's nice you kick your white bone in it, isn't it? No, no, I thought you wanted to, no, I thought I wanted you to see, uh, what Cody couldn't do last year. He's a wimp. Yeah, but, but you, but so far, do you see how frightening this is? I think it's puppy shit. <laughs> well, I mean, flashlight up. Holy fuck, you're ruining it. No, I'm not. I went through this already, friend. That's nice. I haven't. Okay, so guys, she wants the flashlight off. She's figured she's gonna be brave enough to the flashlight, so I tested her on that one. So she's gonna continue on going uh, down this street with no flashlight. Uh, the other challenger would have relied on this truck. Now, just to let you know, friend. Mr. Cougar can jump out from anywhere and scare the hell right out of you. He could be on the street tonight. Kim? What? See me shaking? No. Then shut your mouth. <laughs> okay, I mean, are you brave enough? You'd be surprised who I planted in here. Or who I text. Kim, Besides the two challenges. You plant in, uh, I think I can handle, okay? Are you sure? Come on, I'm not a wimp. You hear the ghost voices behind us though, right? Of Hunter's Cabin? Am I still going? Yep. Okay, okay. So right now guys, uh, you can't see it that well because it's very foggy and dark, but we are passing the Elm Street Cemetery. And, uh... Oh, that's pretty. I think you're freaking out. That's pretty how they got the lights sent by the graves. Yeah, it's, well you... Well, this is supposed to be frightening, not pretty. Well, you should never took me to where they have the lights. Moron. And you wanted to turn home. Hey, did I go? No. No. But again, guys, there is an Elm Street Cemetery. And it's a lot darker tonight, guys. You may not, may, may not see that as well as like we did last Saturday. But uh, again, that is the cemetery right there. So you guys can see the gravestones and the lights. I'm going to shine the flashlight over there for a second. So you guys can see it. No, it's not clear. So that is okay. But All it is is sensor lights. Sensor lights, and that's a hundred acre cemetery, by the way. Well, we got the gates open again. But again, we're on the as long as we stay to the public road, we uh, cannot walk through. So uh, again, we're almost coming off of Elm Street again. And uh, remember the hydro plantation. Again, this is this is the last night for this challenge, and. Uh, uh, so I might, uh, I might have to rig something for Josh, but don't tell Cody because he'll get upset. Because you're supposed to really take this challenge or walk through this challenge. So again, another hidden path for a road. What street do we go down? Taylor. Right past. You keep going that way, you can go to Owen Sound. So... Again, so there's Taylor, and uh, before we head down Taylor, we'll just get that other Elm Street sign there for you, a close up, because that other one was uh, that way. So you guys can see we're on Elm, uh, diagonally or whatever, like they say. So again, oh, 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 there she goes ahead of me again. Okay, we're off Elm. 
So far you're doing pretty good. You beat Freddy down uh, Elm Street. He didn't get a chance to jump out from uh, at you from somewhere. He'll probably show up at Tim Hortons probably sometime this week. Why do you think I stood by the cemetery? Calling him on. I mean, he's in it. I said he's in there. He could jump out at any time too. He could sneak off of Elm and sneak through these woods and jump out at you still at any time. Or down at Blue Water Park. Bring if, it. If his trailer's there and he's up. I'm right here. Bring it. So if you hear actual footsteps behind you, he could be following you from Elm all the way down to the park. I'll let him follow. So I hope my battery holds out. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. All depending on the weather. So again, we're on Taylor and uh, just come off of Elm. We're going to try to go through this as quick as possible. And uh, That's if my husband don't keep stopping. No, I wasn't stopping. I was trying to get that sign in. Because the other one was too further back, a too small print. Because it's a lot darker out than it was than I brought Matt. When I brought Matt last Saturday night, it was not as dark. Especially at this time. Um, no, because you and Matt walked fast, that's why. No, it wasn't this dark. It was dark, but it wasn't this dark. This is dark, dark, dark. Yeah, because you and Matt went out at 9. Yeah, but we so... We went out at 10. Yeah, but also, too, it's a foggy night now, too. So... It makes it more spooky because we've been the fog do off the ground. So that you frightened yet? Nope. How can, how is it this ain't frightening you and uh it frightened Cody? <laughs> One because Cody's a wimp. <laughs> Your wife's no wimp. Oh no. Your wife is no wimp. No, I never thought that, but I was I just had to sit down here and there. And plus I have to walk this way when I came home from karaoke one night. Hello? D this way, yeah, from that way. Or yeah, the other so way. Why would this tree frighten me? Elm didn't even bother me. Well, I thought it would have because somebody follows my shows. So Again, yeah, that's 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 that, that's what I said. Cody's a chicken shit. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about Mr. R. England follows the show. So if he was in town, he has a cottage here, right? So he could jump up from anywhere. Yeah, but I'm just saying that that's why you Cody wouldn't go on because he's chicken shit. I'm not. Shh, shh. That's the fucking religious Bible thumper. Sorry, I'm putting it that way. Like crazy, we're just down the hit down she the does. street here in Warren. We're at the park. Like, she on. doesn't agree with this kind of a walk. She was Bush in religion. Today's what? Uh, Saturday. Saturday the twenty third. She, she's at. She's doing the work with Cody tonight. Oh yeah, yeah. Sleepover. <laughs> So again, we're gonna keep walking down here. I it, it's her it, back to me. It is okay to go through Blue Water Park at night, right? Yeah. Okay, it's I just public. Wasn't, yeah, that's what I said. As long as it's a public park, it's we should be fine. But again, when we get to Blue Water Park, we do have to keep our voices down a bit because it was uh, people were sleeping. So down here, I'm surprised. Wait, is this even Frank Street? Yeah. Or the next one. No, that's that's where the G George Street goes down those streets. Go straight down and get up the park. I know where I'm going. I was just making sure I not hit Frank Street. Because you'll be a pancake by the time you hit Fran Frank Street. So yes, yeah, so if you follow again, so we're again, this is the last night for this challenge. So, uh, f for the actual main walk, because I guess after July the 1st, uh, all these backfields... Uh, the, the cadets, the I guess all the cadets and kiddies, teenagers and the cadet teenagers and all the armed forces guys, they got their bush training back here, and uh, they'd be coming through this way. So that way our challengers are not in the way. Are you okay? Yeah, just... My leg almost gave out on me. 
Oh, okay. We can slow down a bit. Man, like, you, you're already determined. Like, you're already ahead of the camera guy. But so far, there's no... I'm surprised we've got no followers in right now. Usually we have followers tonight. And, uh, I guess maybe because we're getting a little... I'm a little bit late. But, uh... And that... What, did you see what kind of uh, car that was? Was that an OPP car? The one that passed us on Elm? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Might have been Freddy. He's always stealing stuff like that. If it's Elm Street, you never know. <laughs> Either him or Jason, one of the two. Hiding in there. Trying to make his way to jump out at, at, yeah, at the park. Normally, how this challenge operates is it's like usually um, bandan uh, blindfolded and that kind of stuff too. So again, I just have my sun shades on because of the light of my phone. Uh, so that that, that, that that kind of stuff. So when I get home, I change back into regular glasses. Or normally, I have my regular glasses on and, uh, and that kind of stuff too. So... And plus now, now we're on the street with street working street lights. So uh, again, so we're almost almost to the end point. So when we get when we get to the Wicker Square, we're kind of kind of uh, we're kind of kind of kind of give you away where the headless headhunters are coming from, which direction they're really coming from. Because usually with the challengers, it's for them to decide their sense. Don't forget, we still go across the bridge. That is the most darkest part. You ready for that part? What bridge? There's a bridge we have to cross. Okay. It's called the haunt. It's called the the um, uh, haunted hunter's cabin bridge. bridge. There's no bridge up the yes, there is. On the Great Bruce Trail. We still have, we oh. still. And then we've got to walk the pathway all the way through. Past the portal, Johnny's on fire. Now, like I said, this is Hunter Cabin 13. And, uh, Dark Haunt, Haunted Hunter's Cabin Challenge. So, it finish up these shows. And, uh, for this part of the challenge is part of it. So, for the black bandanas... There will be a draw for. Uh, again, there's. Uh, Put Josh's name in for that. I still have his red one. I brought the both. I brought the both two red bandanas. Um, actually, I think this was to give them away to one of the kids back there. But I will put him. That, I told him it would be a red, but he might have to sell for a black because the, the kids back there the walk on the challenge. <laughs> 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 if they're brave enough to walk it, I'd probably give the one away to one of them. Oh, maybe. Maybe we're just heading home. But yeah, so. Uh, so again, this is for a Celtic Gypsy Warrior bandana. So it's a red bandana. So like I said, anybody in the black or red bandanas are Celtic Gypsy Warriors. So again, I'm putting you up at a very, very high, high level in this society. <coughs> so, oh, there's a hockey ring over there. <coughs> okay? So far, you're doing good. Uh-oh, streetlight burnt out. Not good. Guys, wait till we get to the Wicca Square. It's probably going to scare the shit right out of her. Ah, so far, I got no followers tonight. Last time, last Saturday, I had about 50 followers. So, we're going to go this way. And also, to the idea of this, too, guys, is the challenger has to fear no fear going through this challenge. 
and has to be brave all the way through, especially in the dark, especially with no flashlight and that kind of thing. No uh, electrical vehicle devices. Usually no cell phones, but because I'm the camera dude, I, I went through this challenge when I was a kid. So, this challenge don't apply to me anymore. I just actually host it now. So, anyhow. But yeah, normally for a no sh challenger for a no show, would actually fail this mission automatically. It's an, like I said, it's an automatic. Uh, normally, would be classified as an automatic disqualification. Oh, YouTube! I should have went YouTube. <laughs> so again, as long as my battery holds out, I'm going quick enough so my battery is holding out. Okay guys, this is where, this is the part may get spooky. This is the part where Mr. Booger jumps out. Start the park? That's yep. piece of cake I went through the park when I had Mercedes. Yeah, but uh, you got no flashlight, remember? I didn't have flashlight when I had Mercedes out. Okay, so like, like I said, where are you? Where are you? So anyhow, you just follow my lead, and uh, like I said, there's, um, I can't even see where the hell I'm going, I got my sunshades on, and I did this in the woods at nine years of age, with the blindfold and on crutches and a broken leg, and I passed with flying colors, of course I wanted to get this done too before the conies came through here, because this is something the conies would love. So, so again, guys, let's go. can you see okay? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I, normally I wouldn't wear my sunshades tonight, but it is because of, uh, so you guys can see where the candy day is going to set up, where the village fair is going to set up. Oh, move the camera that way. And, um, Man, that even made me jump, and that wasn't even Freddy that I planted out here. I did actually plant an actor out here, by the way, to jump out. I've seen that person coming in the way when you first walked into the park. Maybe he thought he'd be nice to you because it's a, you're a woman challenger, so he didn't want to give you a heart attack. Yeah, well, we'll Because he knows how jumpy women are. Yeah, well, the women challengers can sit in lots and enjoy the river. Well, you can. That's why I said the guy's being nice on you, but I did plant an actor out here, by the way, to jump, to jump out at you. Especially out on Elm Street, so he probably, because he heard, heard that you were a woman who didn't want to scare you. Now, was Josh, no problem. Let's go hell out of you. See all the fog over there, guys? So, again, this is just a bit of a break. And then we're going to finish off uh, going down here. And uh, I didn't pick her up on camera, did I? No. Okay, good, because I did move the camera, right? Oh, I'll leave it. So again, you can hear the water. So far, I don't, I don't hear our headless headhunters. He's not disguised as a pelican tonight, like he was last year. Ian was, because he's the witch. Yeah, because if they're going to come out of anywhere, it would come out that way because it's the dark hysteria. With the dark hysteria. But see, see this, the, this, this actor that I, that is, uh, that's around, he, uh, he probably is giving you, giving you leeway because you're, because, because the fact you're a woman and he's a gentleman. So, he doesn't want to give you too much of a scare. You know what I mean? No, not yet you haven't. You haven't crossed the Wicker Square yet. You've just gone to the... Oh, God, this is puppy. 
<laughs> Would you like me to to find out where that actor is in here? Okay, so and get I him to jump out of it, and then you can call bridge. it puppy all you like. I walked this bridge even on Canada Day when it's pitch dark walking home. Give it a break. <laughs> Not, nah, but see, this is this is what Cody couldn't do for a red bandana. It's called the dark haunt in Hunter Tavern Tower. He was too frightened. Especially tonight, it would be, it's funny because it's more frightening because of all the fog. Because normally those lights would come up through, uh, through, shine through a lot brighter than it did the other night. Right, I have to walk this even at night after fireworks on camera. You better hurry up because I'm going to have a dead battery. Isn't that fair? Yeah, so like I said, you see right across the lake. Also too guys, this is where you normally would see a floating upside down motorboat too. So again, over there, there's probably photo drawings and that. So we haven't. So when we get close to that end to the display, we do have to keep quiet because uh, camp is just open. But when we came down Elm Street, did you hear any strange noises? No. You didn't hear any voices. Any ghost voices? Oh, I just heard some voices when we were walking down Elm. Yeah, but it didn't scare me or anything. But but they were not human voices, right? Not that I could tell. Yeah. So you see guys, this is Hunter's Cabin, so like I said, there is uh, those are some of the sound, spooky sounds you're going to hear at night. And it's really quiet. Who knows, Freddy could have been in that police car too, driving it. Not all you, always when he jumped out at you on arm, he'll probably drive past you when he went to the cop car. Uh when you do this, right? Yeah. Which way do you end? Do you end by um, coach heads and you walk out? Uh, we go right up to, uh, you know, where Willie's Cage is? Yeah. Where the old Chamber of Commerce is, where the Wrecker Square is? Yeah. Right there, that's where that's where the big challenge is. The final challenge is. Then, then you go north-south side of that square, back to our apartment building. Yeah, so you walk out of the park by yep. the cage area. Yep. Can I suggest something different for this challenge? Can't. This challenge is not happening next year. No. Can I suggest something different for now? We can't change it this year. We can't for now. Just no. to walk right through you go by straight. the camper area? We can't. It's considered private property because campers are... We cannot go on private property. It's not private. It's public area. Yeah, I know it's public, but if there's trailers there, it's considered private lots. Once they're full of trailers, that's the only thing you have to be, you have to be cautious of. Even parent, even when it comes down to paranormal investigators, they can come through here in the park public without permission. Oh yeah, because, because I won't see the gate to get out. Yeah, because it's because, because there's a gate area. Yeah, but but that you can get out of and you yeah, can and see it's dark, that here. right? So like I said, it is is a public park, but. Uh, when you hit the camp trailer spots, you have to be careful because they're rented out. And once once there's a house trailer there, you cannot cross there. No, it's just in that way because there's a gate area that leads you right to our front door. Yeah, but then also to you violating somebody's rented private space for the, for the vacation space. Cotton space is considered private. Automatically. Inhabited. Anything like Elm Street Road is not inhabited or, you know, public roads and this here is all public, right? Or the park, public park or public tunnel thing going through the pathways. Look at the red light flashing. Where? Straight ahead. Right there? It flashes once in a while, right there. There. Yeah, I see it. I would have picked it up. Ooh, that's dark. Dark, dark, dark. A couple of seconds. Dark. Yeah, Hide behind there. the bushes or the rocks. Up yeah, there. there's one over there. Yeah, it's a lighthouse, I think. No, the lighthouse is blocking straight ahead, not a red light. No. The one I'm talking about is straight there. Oh, because one of those sides is uh, Michigan, Detroit. Yeah, if you go if you go all the way around, uh, I don't know what that is. That's the lighthouse that's flashing. Yeah, it means the light bulb's burnt out. Um, yeah, so it's somewhere over there. 
That's what I said, that this here's Canadian side all the way around the South Coast Peninsula. But if you go straight across the bay, you hit Michigan Detroit, which is the United States. I just want to make sure I didn't pick her up on live stream. Do no, we wouldn't be able to see her. Because you can't even see you or me and I. The well, so only reason why I'm wearing sunshades is because of the light and the camera. Oh, I hear more of those sounds. Also too, right now you may not hear much, but when you go back to watch the video, you'll hear all the ghost sounds in the background. I think I heard some when I was standing there by the cemetery. You heard sounds? Ghost sounds? Yeah. You know, I was looking at the lights. They were strange sounds, right? Yeah. Yeah, they were probably First Nation chants. You heard ghost First Nation chants. That would be Hunter's Cabin. Especially when you get to that part. It wouldn't be Cape or anybody like that because they're home in bed. Just like sitting here watching whatever it is. Yeah, well, we need to get on with the challenge. <laughs> it's a game boy. You can sit here every day you like. It's almost full. Well, giving your people time to come out and scare the shit out of me, but they don't want to come out. No, because they're they're because they're probably respecting the fact you're a woman. Now, if it was Cody coming through this and he followed through, ah, there's Ian, one of our headless headhunters. Remember, he's a witch. He can disguise himself as anything. Right there. Told you he'll jump out and scare you. Don't scare me. Oh, trust me, he has his little magic trucks, by the way. For a headless head hunter. So, again. Well, the car I thought was really ruining it because it's red lights are on. Uh, not really. He is facing the other direction. Yeah, but so I can see. Yeah, well. I know, but they, they don't know you're on a Game Boy challenge. They're just a bunch of tourists driving around looking stupid. Um, see, look how foggy it is. So, anyhow, we gotta go this way because we gotta go down that uh, river path. This one? No, no, no. The, uh, one of them in between here, guys. Uh, and then probably the next one. Do not do not bang into anything. I'm not banging into nothing. Jeez, when I was a kid and I went through this in the woods, I was tripping over freaking everything. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Man, they got that fish house lit up. Also, too, watch out for dog shit. Nobody cleans up. That's why I wanted to stay on the bridge. Yeah, well, that's not part of the challenge. We gotta get to the pathway over here. Past the Porter Johnny's on the spot that cabin 13 should not have because of hydro issues. So, again, like I said, we're going this way down the path. And, like I said, guys, when we get to the Yo, you're doing pretty good though, you're almost passing it, man. I could have made it more harder. Uh, again, the actors that were uh, that I planted out here. Um, Probably is being gentlemen and decide that they're they're kind of turn around and go back to their trailer and uh, that that kind of thing because you're a woman and they don't want to scare you too much because they think you like all other type of women that are scared too easily and may take it seriously. You know what I mean? So they're being nice to you for some reason. This way or that way? Uh, we're gonna go straight on a wicker path. Because I would have had uh, Josh parked there. 
he had to show if he was going to show up. Normally, he'd be disqualified, but I'm giving him a chance for the draw. No, no, this way. Straight through. No cheating. Disqualification. Yeah, go straight. No, oh my god, I got some shades on because of the sunlight, because of the light of the camera. So. Yeah, and down, down the wicker pathway. Again, this is last night for this main challenge, guys. We would have loved to go straight to Halloween night. But uh, this show is early because, like I said, the back fields back there off of Elm Street are going to be inhabitants uh, starting after Canada Day and that for uh, military training and that kind of stuff, too. So, like I said, they, the cadet system and all that come through here. So, uh, we want to get this challenge, we wanted to wrap this challenge up tonight as possible. So, again, the other bandanas are just going to go for a draw and. Uh, Cody Bell is going to challenge for the Celtic Angel uh, Angel Gypsy Bandana, which is the orange one. And that's Definitely. a coffee drinking challenge, but he doesn't have a challenge to drink coffee, so automatically he gets it. So the blue one will be played as a birthday game prize. He'll fail it. How can he? He doesn't have a challenger. So he doesn't have to do the coffee drink because nobody won't challenge him. He gets it automatically. It was this one he failed. The Celtic. Oh, there's a follower. And, uh, that kind of thing. So you guys can see. There's your evil hunter's cabin. Ooh. Who's the follower? Right here. Yeah, here. Uh, I can't pronounce the name in Spanish. She's one of the MF, Mike's MFers, so, like I said, she's a really nice, nice lady. So again, right here, as far as we can go, because it's, again, it's to this little centerpiece. So again, this is the wicker square, so I have to turn my light on for you to see. You cannot see it in the dark. So if you look across the ground here, right about this big circle, okay, you're the challenger, so you're going to have to go stand in the middle here. Right there. So, okay. Now normally you'd be, you'd be blindfolded for this, okay. Now, if you look over here, there's a, there, there, there's a pentagram circle. Uh -huh. The plus sign in the middle represents a wicker star, which does not refer to the star of David. And then if you look around the circle, there, it's boxed off like four corners of a square box, which is mm -hmm. north, south, east, and west. Same with your stars, north, south, east, and west. Yes. Now, you have to determine or sense which direction are the hell is headhunters coming from. No. No? No. By there, by the water tank? By the west? Yeah. You think? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know what is what you just pointed to on the north-south side of the Wicca Square is where Hunter's Cabin sits. Oh. Okay, so if you follow the north-south side, I can turn that off, so you guys can see what the Wicca Square really replicates. It's a marking on the ground, so it's just like a compass. Turn that off. So you go back this way. Oh, no, I don't want you by my face. And uh, you cross over here. We finish the Hunter's Cabin pathway, which is north south. North, yeah, north south of Lucas Square. North south side. Thursday. Be quiet. Put it in the campground. So you keep going this way. Now the train station information center, by the way. And if you go this way here. Um, home then? No, not quite. Oh, it's just home. No, but, but the, you want to see what the replicacy of Hunter's Cabin is? No, I just want to go home then. It's, it's on flat ground before we go home. On the water plantation road. The Hunter's Cabin road finishes. So, yeah, I know, but this is part of this is part of the challenge. Well, not the challenge, but it's just the pathway. So, and uh, again, guys, you can see up there, and there's there's where the water plantation road, where the haunt, haunted hunter's cabin road started. I could have been mean, Fran, and I could have had you start your challenge here. 
at the Masonic Hall and go up, claw it all the way up to Brown. So I had to do the hill for a reason. So, don't hit me with your purse, unless you're sloppy squirrel. So again, there is the old food land building, guys. And, man, light is busy. So again, you look down there, there is okay, so the water plantation road. Um, and that kind of thing too, so there's a water plantation road. And uh, that kind of stuff too, so. And uh, that's where the road ends. And if you look back in there where the old Coco Vanilla building is, Fran, mm. behind those cars behind our garbage shed, mm. that's the replica Sea Hunter's cabin. So we're going to turn. And uh, thank you for tuning in. And this was your Gypsy Rover live on the clock, one day at a time live. And I did it. And she passed. And so now she is a Celtic Gypsy warrior, not a Celtic Gypsy angel. Have a good day now, you guys.